Come in, Torsen. This is headquarters. Lieutenant Torsen, please respond. Sir, we've got something. What? Lieutenant Torsen, is that you? Blast it, Nalto. Get me a clear visual. That's better. Oh. Apologies, my lord. I didn't recognize you. I... Is there a lieutenant by the name of Torsin with you by any chance? This hollow was sitting in a pile of corpses. Perhaps your friend is among them. Why don't you describe him? That, uh... That's not really necessary, my lord. Torsin's squad was deployed to recapture that region's farmsteads. The resistance is desperate for supplies, pushing to capture every food source available. I hope to retake the farms and put their crops to our use. That's no longer an option. We have to destroy the crops on those farmsteads. We cannot allow the enemy access to such a valuable resource. You're already in the area. Can you help us? This is beneath me, but I'll do it. Torsen's squad was carrying a set of RK-9 soil devastators. For this contingency, they'll be on the soldiers' bodies. Once you have the soil devastators, fight past the resistance patrols and position them in the growing fields. The devices will blight the soil beyond all use. If you could, contact me again when the objective is complete. Good luck to you. show the soil devastators in full operation. Excellent. Thank you for taking the time to assist us. The operation would have failed without you. I really am the best. I've arranged for a small token of my gratitude to be sent to you. Thanks again. Nicely done. You rescued all of our pilots. I hope you made those coward snipers pay while you were at it. 
What's the next move? I don't have anything else to ask of you. Pilots are safe, mission's complete. Thanks again for your assistance. It's really done, isn't it? The men who killed my family. You've made them pay. The names. The names match the dog tags. They're dead. All dead. Go home now, Captain. My wife and daughter are avenged. I'll have the men prepare for departure, sir. It's not as satisfying as I expected. Perhaps I should see whether those Republic soldiers had families. Justice has been served. You won't gain anything by murdering more. You may be right. I'll think on what you've said. You've done well for me. Take your reward. Farewell. My lord, you honor me with your presence. How may I serve you? Those villagers wanted to share their supplies, but you put your personal vendetta above your duty. You, I, I, I assure you, this is all just a, just a misunderstanding. The villagers, you see, they deceived us. They, they ambushed us, and we had to kill them. No impropriety, nothing personal in what happened. I simply did my duty. We can keep this simple, can't we? You can forget whatever it is you think you saw, and I can forget about leaving these credits sitting on my desk. Agreed? Turn yourself in, or I'll take matters into my own hands. You leave me no choice, then. So be it. Colonel Layden, this is Captain Varmet. Yes, Captain. I wasn't entirely truthful when I told you what happened with the supply drop-off. These are grim days, friend. I am Captain Ransfell Newt, Imperial Command. Your presence here couldn't come at a better time. Please try to overlook the stench of death upon me. Sometimes the work we do to preserve the Empire is dirty. Maybe you should take a shower. I'm afraid what has blooded me is more than skin deep. There's a terrible scourge terrorizing this world. The Colicoids. Savage genetically enhanced creatures with a ravenous taste for human flesh. Emboldened by hunger, the Colicoids are encroaching on settled areas and imperial holdings. Many of the Empire's finest have become food for these bugs. Then they weren't the Empire's finest, were they? Believe me, we've lost a lot of good men. They deserve to be avenged. I've developed a poison that kills the Colicoids when consumed. I've collected bodies of the fallen and treated them with the toxin. Then I had to cut the poisoned bodies into pieces. Now they must be dispersed around the bugs' nests. Will you do this? Dead bodies don't disturb me. I'm only affected by the living. I'm relieved. You'll have to make the trek to Bugtown in Broken Valley, the site of the experiments that made the bugs. Here, a bag of the poisoned body parts. Tread cautiously. It will attract the creatures in droves. Find the Colicoid feasting mounds around the area and deposit body parts on each mound. I hope you return to me in one piece. Sir, we just took 50% casualties. That's called a defeat. We're dead without reinforcements. Where are you, Private? Does this look like Alderaan? On Balmurra, 50% is the price of admission. Everyone fights, Private Gambar. Either you go in shooting, or we freeze you in carbonite and use you as a shield. That casualty rate seems high. Well, I imagine you're new to our particular combat zone. So welcome. I'm Pylok. We've encountered an unidentified insectoid species. They're three meters tall. Blasters don't kill them, they can chew through armor. Private Gambar here is expressing the diminished morale that resulted from our failure to achieve the objective. What's so necessary that it costs this many lives? There are plans for a bomb in that industrial complex, a city-busting neutron detonator. If the resistance gets them, you can kiss Sobrik goodbye. Trouble is, some kind of alien bugs took up residence. They've got brains enough to fight, but not enough to talk. 
We'll be back in combat as soon as we get done with a little field surgery. How much medical attention does the squad need? We've got concussions, a fractured arm, a hand with no meat on it, and our medics are tied up removing a rib from a lung. Everyone left in that complex is dead. The insectoids appear to consume their enemies. So as less than half of us can even walk, can you give us a hand? Go in and get those schematics out. The insects will learn fear, and if they are incapable of that, pain. My lord, that is a scenario that meets our approval. Now, I should warn you. The plans are separated out for the manufacture of individual parts, so it's not one straight run in there. Once you have all the plans, come back and tell us how you did it. I need the squad to hear that these bugs can die. Is there anything wrong? You see, we're setting up a new base of operations where Outpost Freedom is now. But those colicoids are proving a headache. Our orbital bombers have specialized toxic bombs to drive them off, but apparently they need infrared markers to aim at. I'm looking for someone to place those markers. If this was so simple, you'd have placed those markers by now. Well, there are a ton of colicoid nests in that area. But nothing you can't handle. We need the markers placed in these locations. Once they're all in place, I can order the bombardment. Warn me first. If I look up and see toxic bombs overhead, I will be unhappy. I'll contact you when I read the markers are in place. Watch yourself around the colicoids. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> Can't use disease. Uh, I'll have my wind back in a minute. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, that's better. Dr. Rivas, Imperial Science Bureau. Welcome to Project Hexapod. Not much, is it? Just me and a couple of obsolete computers. Empire's throwing all its resources into the war. What little good it does. But maybe you can help me. Spare me the sob story. <laughs> I'm not angling for sympathy here. You're familiar with the weaponized colicoids, right? <laughs> you can't miss them. The results of some kind of sick, wonderful experiments got loose when the Empire bombed the place. I'm here to uncover <laughs> and analyze every scrap, every detail of those perverse, amazing experiments. Where, why, who, how, what. And then put it to good use. What do you mean by good use? The colicoid mutations are disgusting and remarkable. But they are only the barest hint of what we might accomplish. <laughs> I've located ground zero of the colicoid experiments, but between the mutated colicoids and my bad lungs, I can't get in. <coughs> oh, I need you to... <coughs> I need you to take this data spike and upload every scrap of information on those experiments you can find. Not just the formula, everything. I can absolutely do that. Uh, good to hear. Project Hexapod might not be a wash after all. Ground Zero isn't far from here. Big lab facility. Hard to miss. Good luck out there. Ustapain I C J in Alam is Frumadain Habans.
This is Private Suzoku, 5th Infantry, 1st Battalion. I'm bleeding out a damn artery. Whoever finds this, Lieutenant Pillock ordered us in here. No one else. That's why he won't call for reinforcements. He heard a rumour about neutron detonator plans and knew whoever turned those over to command would get noticed. We made three assaults. Same tactics. Unknown enemy. Stupid decisions. Shoot that void brain. Get him caught, marshaled. Lock him up. He threw good men. He just threw us away. was flawless. Someone must be interfering with the upload manually. When I find out who, they'll die. <laughs> the interference is coming from within the lab. Keep on your guard. Anyone with the ability to get into that lab is very dangerous. Imache. I'm a lord of the Sith. I represent the Empire. I can't believe the Colocoids willingly contributed to these experiments. Our bombers are pounding those colicoid nests into toxic dust. You do excellent work. Thanks for your help. You've certainly earned this. You've returned. Tell me you were able to deposit the poisoned body parts throughout the colicoid nest. It was actually quite simple. If the colicoids associate eating human flesh with dying, their survival instinct will steer them away from us as a food source. My lord, we feared you wouldn't survive. It's chaos out there. And who do you think is responsible for that chaos, Captain? With every target you eliminated, the resistance became more disorganized. I've ordered all available forces to the battlefield. Our bombers devastated the enemy in the first ten minutes. Their defenses are in shambles. If you think the Resistance will fall this easily, you won't rule this planet for long. Certainly we'll be cleaning up for months. But so long as they're on the defensive, they'll cease to be a threat. We forced their 6th Battalion into Bugtown. The Colicoids are eating them alive. I think I'd like to see that. You'll be moving on, I presume. Letting the fires of Balmora light your way as you unearth secrets for your master. I've learned many things since becoming Sith. Not all of it needs to be shared. That is why I respect you. Colonel, prepare my shuttle. Yes, my lord. When you think back to Balmora, remember the armies you laid to waste, the enemies you slew, and remember me, and the rewards I gave you. What sort of rewards were you thinking? That, among others. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have rebels to annihilate. Tell the troops, Captain, that today we win this world. Today the Resistance has fallen.
My lord, this is the happiest of days. The whole resistance is in shambles. The people's spirits are broken. Balmora is as good as ours. It looks like there's still a lot of fighting going on. Oh, that'll happen. That always does. The government in exile has lost its teeth. It's the Empire or its anarchy, and people like peace. We cannot possibly thank you enough for your service. Decades we've been trying to win this war, and you've done it in a fraction of the time. Thank you. I found the artifact. Excellent. I trust Major Bessica was a good help. I've traced another artifact to Nar Shaddaa, but I'm still trying to locate the other two. I'll see what I can learn while you're on Nar Shaddaa. Now hurry. There can be no game without haste. <laughs> 